We know it as Seal Beach, but the city was almost named Bayside and Bay City. In tonight's look at this, KCAL 9's Desmond Shaw has even more fascinating facts about one of Orange County's most popular beachside communities. We'll take a look at this quaint seaside town on the edge of Orange County. This is Seal Beach. These days, the town is known for a couple of things. Naval Weapons Station Seal Beach back here, closer to the 405. And, of course, the Seal Beach Pier, which is the second longest wooden pier in California. Dates back to the early 1900s. But a really fascinating and unexpected history with Seal Beach. For one, they were trying to call this either Bayside or Bay City. There was already a Bayside in Northern California. Bay City never really stuck. In 1915, it incorporated as Seal Beach. And according to the Orange County Register, drinking was legalized in the city, which was pretty novel at the time. And then the first Seaside Amusement Park was built in Orange County at that time as well. However, World War I and then especially Prohibition really dealt a big one-two punch to Seal Beach. And that's when, according to Larry Strother, who wrote a brief history of Seal Beach, this area became something of a haven for bootleggers, rum runners, moonshiners, and gamblers. There were six different gambling establishments in Seal Beach on land and then a bunch of gambling boats out on the water in the city was seemed to be perfectly content with it. No one was ever prosecuted with it. And that went on until the early 1940s when California stepped in and they started to crack down on the gambling. And that is when really the vibe changed of Seal Beach to become one of the most relaxing areas of Orange County, uh, I would say. A fantastic place to come and unwind with a history that I would have never known about. Thanks to Michael Polisek for telling me to check it out. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at look at this at cbs.com.